Hello and welcome. This is going to be a fun video. This is the Art Molds Hand Casting Kit. Art Molds has been making casting kits since 1998, putting well over 20 years experience in its easy cast kits. So you can be confident that its kits are one of the highest quality available. And the resulting hand casting keepsake will provide a lifetime of memories for yourself, friends, family, or even as a gift for someone special. It comes in this beautiful box containing all the materials you will need. The kit contains a bag of molding powder, a bag of casting stone, a molding making container, a mixing container for the casting material, rubber gloves, craft sticks, a block of clay, and some sandpaper. The kit contains almost everything, but you will need a few common household items to assist you. You will need a liter of distilled water, an electric mixer, paper towels, a measuring cup, a box cutter, and some newspaper. When you are set up with all the materials needed, we can begin. The first thing is to add 11 cups of water to the mold bucket. Distilled water is preferable as hard water will create lumps in your molding material that will not stir out. Water temperature is important as it affects the setting time of the molding material. The colder the water, the slower the setting time. And the opposite is true. So you do not want to use hot water. But before adding the molding powder, you will want to rehearse to practice a pose. Place your hand or hands into the mold container. Touch the bottom and pull up about an inch or more. When you make your mold, you want to keep your hands away from touching the bottom or sides or it will deform the casting. Be careful with the pose as you do not want your fingers to curl upwards in a C shape as this will cause air pockets and the casting material will not fully fill the fingers. You can have a slight curl or a closed hand or fingers extended downward. If you are casting more than one hand, practice your poses together. A comment about fingernails. If the fingernails are long, you will want to reinforce them with a bit of clay that is included with the kit. Otherwise, the fingernails being so thin will break off. Also, some people suggest using baby oil on the hand or even petroleum jelly. This is unnecessary as the mold material doesn't stick to anything, not even skin. Okay, now once the fingernails are reinforced, if needed, open the molding powder packet and pour about a third into the water and begin mixing with the electric hand mixer. You always want to add powder to water and not the other way around, as if you do, you will get lumps that will be hard to get out. As you continue, begin emptying the rest of the powder into the mold container and continue until you have a creamy, smooth mix. You will always have a few odd lumps, but this won't harm your hand casting. Once the mix is ready, carefully take up the hand pose or poses you practiced and place the hand into the mold material, remembering to stay away from the sides and bottom. The best advice is to touch bottom and then lift the hand about an inch higher. That will make certain the hand or hands are not touching bottom. Now you wait until the molding mixture sets. Do your best to keep your hands still until the mold material sets up. When the surface is no longer sticky and is rubbery firm to the touch, it has cured. Keep your position one more minute to allow the bottom of the container to firm up. When you are ready to remove your hands from the mold, begin by wriggling your fingers. This will help break the suction that is holding your hands. Do this slowly as the mold is still curing. As you feel your fingers being released, you can start to twist your wrists slightly left and right. Do this carefully and slowly with an upward pull of the hand or hands. Eventually, your hand will slide free. When your hand is out of the mold, inspect the mold to see if any pieces have fallen in from the demolding process. The best way to clean up the mold is to pour water in it, about halfway up and slush it around. Then pour out the water and place the mold upside down so it can drain while you begin the casting step. Now you can create the hand casting you've been waiting for. Add three and a half cups of water to the empty mixing container.
put on the rubber gloves contained in the kit. Open the casting material packet and pour it all into the water. Using your hands, begin mixing the water and casting powder together. Let it flow through your fingers so you can feel and then squeeze out the lumps. The longer you mix, the harder the casting material will set up. So, mix for at least four minutes, making certain you are achieving a smooth, lump-free mix. When you are finished mixing, pour about a third of the casting material into the mold. Then, wrap on the side of the mold with your knuckles to drive out any air bubbles. Air is the bane of all mold makers. Once you accomplish this, you can fill the mold with the balance of the casting material. Then continue to wrap on the sides of the container for two to three more minutes. You will start to see air bubbles rise to the top and burst. This is what you want. Then set aside the container in a place that it will not be disturbed. Keep it at room temperature and let it cure for at least three hours. After three hours, your casting should be set enough to demold. Check it for hardness before you begin to demold. Turn the container upside down. Using a box cutter or sharp knife, slice down one side of the container and spread it apart so that the mold will slide out onto your working surface. Keep the container to collect the mold material you will remove. Using a craft stick, carefully slice into the mold material about one to two inches at a time and slowly tear away the material. The casting is at its most delicate state. Any fingers that are sticking up by themselves could easily be snapped off if you are too aggressive in demolding. So your approach must be within caution and with care like an anthropologist looking for fossils. The operative phrase here is take your time. When the casting is mold material free, there will be some cleanup to do. That is what the sandpaper in the kit is for. Use it to smooth any rough edges and to remove any casting flashing. Use the pin provided to dig out any mold material piece trapped in the casting. This is a bit time consuming, but worth it in the result. You can use a little leftover casting material and fill any holes or blemishes caused by air bubbles. When finished, let the casting dry out for at least seven days. Then seal it with a coat of clear polyurethane. You also have the option of painting, gold leafing, and decoupage. You have a memorable keepsake that, if you are careful, will last a lifetime. Thanks for watching.